Boy. Peace. How you doing? Hey, we doing fantastic. How about you, sister? I'm good. I'm good. Um, Kyla definitely gets in, and I'm going to have a problem with anybody that votes otherwise. I'm not trying to do voter intimidation, but it is what it is. <laughs> Small hat talking about you're going to do voter intimidation and then say you ain't trying to do voter intimidation. Hey. Okay, well, I am trying to do voter intimidation. We're going to have problems. <laughs> but it, it's funny listening to you talk because I actually found Dr. Collard in a, in a similar way. I was skipping school one day, which I happen to do a lot of. Um, and I was just going through the TV and they always have, you know, what's coming on next. And it was Donahue. And I just saw this dark skinned bald head brother. And I was a real boy crazy at the time. So I'm like, ooh, who is that brother right there? So I was like, okay, well, let me tune into this Donahue and see what's going on with this brother. And then as soon as he started talking, it was just a wrap. And I remember, I think the moment when I fell in love with Dr. Khaled was when um, one of the, the devils, I think he was a World War II vet or something, stood up and asked him a question. And just the look of anger and disgust on Khaled's face, I've never seen a facial expression like that on any Black man, uh, any black man before that or after. It was just such rage inside him. And I was just like, okay, I'm just in love with Dr. Khaled. <laughs> <laughs> What was it that you loved most about Dr. Khal Abdul Muhammad? Um, I love that he was a real person. Um, you know, he, he reminds me of me a lot. And I don't say that like self-aggrandizement or anything like that, but I think a lot of us can see ourselves in him because wait a minute. I'm sorry. That? Again, this is the second small hat move. You self-aggrandize, then say you're not self-aggrandizing. I'm just I'm just counting the hat trick. <laughs> No, and the reason I say that is because I'm not saying I'm great or anything, but I think a lot of us nationalists can see it in us because when we talk, when we're on the offensive, we get very aggressive and err, and everybody thinks that we're like the meanest people in the world. But then when we're not in combat mode, when we're just chilling, we can be like some of the nicest down to earth people. You wouldn't think that, you know, that's the same person. Um, when he was doing the interview with that one uh, funny looking devil, I forget his name. Um, and they were just going around the city talking. And he was so calm. And he's like, oh, I didn't expect this from you. And he's like, well, you know, I'm not at war right now. And I just thought um, just the difference, you know, when he's around black people, he'll be in a white suit and he'll sit down on the step and talk to you. He's not worried about getting dirty. He is just all love. He's just the nicest, most humble person you can meet. And anybody that ever met him will tell you that. But when it's time to rumble, he's rumbling. And I just, I thought that that was just, such a good um, role model to follow that you don't always have to be um, in that super aggressive fight mode, but when it's time, you go in there instantly. You know, and um, now did you ever have the pleasure to meet Dr. Khaled Abdul Muhammad? I did not. My husband secured him a few times um, before and after he was kicked out. Wow. Okay. 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 So that's beautiful. That's beautiful. So uh, I'm sure if I can get to the brother tonight. Is he home tonight listening to the show? Um, No, he's at work, but he said he was going to try to call in if he could get a minute. Okay, you know what? I think I see him, and I did tell him that I would get him if I could. Is he Is he uh, 0792? Um, no, he should be the same as me. His last digit is one, though. Six zero, that, that one? Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm, okay, I'm going to get that one. I'm going to get him next. Brother and sisters, please pardon me, but the brother's on the plantation and he wants to get in here. And uh, he, he, you know, he told me he called sometime, but he can't get in. So I'm gonna let him slide in here behind the queen to keep the, the, the king and queen together. That's how we want the black queen and queen together, not separate. We'll let him get in here after our sister and then we'll get back to the uh, to our order of our uh, calls. But um, you want me to tell you what's so funny when I listen to you talk? Out of all the discussions we've had, this is probably the most upbeat, and high that I've ever heard your spirit in, in, in terms of just talking on something. I mean, it's a very, it's a, it's a calm, a calmness, but it's like a, like a love and a warmth, like a, a big sister or a mother or a grandmother. It's just a, a sense of that. Is, is that how you feel when you think of Dr. Khaled Abdul Muhammad? I do. I do. And it's just, I miss them so much. I'll be honest. It's people, I love my family, but it's people who have passed in my family that I grew up around and I knew personally that I don't miss as much as Kyle. I miss them, but just Kyle's presence and the hope and the potential that he had, um, 
to me, I mean, it's just never going to be a replacement for that. And I learned so many lessons for him. Um, you said he made one mistake. I think he learned, he made one more and I'm not going to go into it too much, but it was just knowing who your friends are and really seeing people for who they are. And that taught me such a lesson. His whole life was just a lesson to me because people like the messenger and different people, I was born after they had already passed. So I can see them in history, but I, they weren't there for me to see in person. This brother was there in person during my formative years when I was in junior high and high school. Mm. Now, let me ask you, did you ever play hockey? No. Yes, you did, because you just did a hat trick. That's your third hat trick there. You're not supposed to say about something, so instead of saying the word, you just talked around it so that everybody could allude to know what you do it. But you did. You followed the rules, but like a hat, you were able to do what you wanted to do within the confines of the rules. So that's three. <laughs> and that's a hat trick. When you do it three times in a row, it's a hat trick. So I think you play hockey. I'm, 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 I'm going to ask Brother David when he comes online if you play hockey, because I believe <laughs> It's true. I had I have to just because to me, like I said, it's a learning experience and I'm not going to go down there. I don't need to go down that road because everybody knows where I stand. But that was just another learning experience. And that's something that seriously is something that we need to look at, because sometimes something that you'd be willing to die for may not be willing to die for you or may not feel the same to you. And it's just a, a lesson that we can learn from as well as how he carried himself. Um, I probably, some, sometimes I can be kind of raw. I try not to do it on War and Horizon, but if you meet me in person, sometimes I can like take it up. And I, and I think a lot of that was just from watching him because he ain't care. He'll just say whatever, you know? And you know, I got to say that too. And we're going to come to the phone lines. Everybody's going to get a chance to chime in, but I got to be 100% honest. I'm with you on that. That's one of the things that Brother Collett did that really, for what he did for me, he opened it up that those deep down feelings that you feel, but you will never say because no one's ever said anything like that. And you feel like you'd be a hate monger and looked at as a crazy person. He said it so openly. You was like, he went further than you. You like, okay, I can feel like that. He gave us permission <laughs> to feel like we felt anyway. And I think, um, I think it's been important for the future freedom fighters of the world to have hear somebody to speak in that way because it allows us to conceive doing what he's doing. And once you set a precedent, then people can come behind you and can go even further. And then you get closer and closer to that ultimate day of seeing your enemies perish and defeated at the hands of your sword and you being truly independent and free. So uh, I agree with you 100% on that. Yes, sir. All right. You got anything else you got for us, sis? Um, no, I think that's it. I'm, I'm going to continue with my voter intimidation. I might take it to Facebook and I wish, uh, wish everybody well. <laughs> Be no voter intimidation here. We see the King Samir is dealing with this issues with these Pecklewoods now trying to bother this brother because he went out there to protect black people's rights to do whatever they wanted to do in terms of voting. And you will not be going out here and and and, and getting these Negroes talking about one horizon is doing voter intimidation. So you've hey, done we both named Sh we both named Shabazz. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. You are absolutely right. Shabazzes do what the Shabazzes do. No question. <laughs> we appreciate you, sis. We love you. And what's tomorrow's show about? Tomorrow, 7 o'clock p.m., Tuesday, uh, 7 p.m. What you going to be talking about? The Black Woman's Apology. We will be apologizing to Black men and acknowledging our role in upholding racism, white supremacy. Can I call in and tell you stuff that Black women are doing to Black men so you can apologize for that? I will think about it just because it's you. Nobody else, though. <laughs> With, look, I got special privileges. She's going to think about it because I feel good about that because I want to call and get some steam off when I know I won't get in no trouble. So that makes me feel good. So, brothers, you want to be tuned in tomorrow. And, sisters, you want to tune in, too, because instead of you, because we know black women, you don't have any humility. <laughs> you have no <laughs> to apologize for nothing. But here's what the beauty thing. Lady Shabazz is going to do it for you. So all you got to do is tell your husband, tell your significant other to tune in She'll do all the apologizing and you can just smile and shake your head. Uh, and that way you don't have to say nothing. Everybody wins. See? <laughs> yes, sir. On the horizon. You got to love it. All right, sis. We'll see you on the battlefield. Yes, sir. Peace. All right. Tune in tomorrow at 7 p.m. That's going to be serious. Black woman apologizing or something. Ain't seen that one coming in a long time. Let me go to my brother, David. Did he keep my promises like Desalina, the ferocious, the merciless. I got to keep my promises. Brother David, how you doing, warrior? Good five, soldier. How you doing, sir? 
Hey, man, I'm doing fantastic. We talking about the doctor. You know, my spirit is high. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I have a lot of time, brother. You know, I'm at the plantation picking cotton for the devil. So, you know, I have a it's... lot of time, but I get in. I'm sorry, I said that cat ain't going to pick itself, so we understand. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I know you and my wife were talking about when I met Dr. Collar, brother. I met Dr. Collar for the first time in 1990. Uh, we were having uh, issues at our uh, mosque, uh, mosque number eight, on the east side of St. Louis, number 28. And uh, Dr. Collar was sent there as the investigator. That's the first time I met that brother and, and, and meeting him. Brother, I, I couldn't. I actually couldn't put it into words, man. It, it was, I mean, it was just phenomenal. You know, he just exudes what a black man should be. Two men, to me, the perfect example of a black man, and that was Honorable Elijah Muhammad and Dr. Khaled. Seeing him, I saw a black man. Mm. So, you know, and, and, and to have him talk to us, and, brother, he took us all out to dinner, and, brother, it was just an amazing experience. You know, he, it wasn't like in an official capacity. He took, he took, brother, he took all the FOI out. Paid for it, brother. Just like I said, it was just a wonderful experience, you know. Just, just, just being around Dr. Collins. He was just a good, yes, sir. sir. He was a good man. Oh yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good brother. All this crap about, you know, him. Just all the the negative things I've heard about Dr. Collins over the years, brother. I don't believe because that's not the man I met. I met him twice, and the man I met, he was a he was a strong black man. He was a he was just a good brother. And, and and that's what I hear from a lot of people. And I'm not gonna hold you too long because I know you're on the job. But he, it, he, yeah, he was a good man, but he was a brotherly brother. That's what I hear people say. He was, he was the type of brother that if you if we wasn't in this war, you would still like to be around him because he was genuine, he was real, and he was a brotherly brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's how he was. Yes, sir. Sir. All right, brother. Well, we know you're on the oh, plan. Oh, but one more thing, brother. Sir. I met him again. The second time I met him, I'll make it quick. The second time I met Dr. Kyle was after he got busted. After, you know, he got taken out of all his official capacities in the Nation of Islam. And before the order got put out, you know, we couldn't have any deals with, you know, with uh, with uh, Dr. Kyle. He came to St. Louis the second time. Did the same thing. Double the brothers. He took out a, he took 100 FOI out to eat, brother. 100 FOI. Paid for it. What? Mr. That was after he got busted. He came to St. Louis. After he got uh, busted. He took a hundred brothers out to eat. hundred brothers, yes, sir. And and and, and did y'all have the best time? I mean, was it, was it one of those situations where enjoying themselves, laughing, just feeling? Bro, brother, we at that time, I was a manager at Old Country Buffet in St. Louis, and that's where we went to eat. And, of course, they wouldn't give us a discount because they knew who Dr. Collard was. <laughs> and I was actually a manager there. I could not get a discount. But we shut the whole restaurant down, brother. We came in 100 for a while. We shut the restaurant down. Everybody else was too scared to come in. But we had a blast. We had a blast, brother. We had a blast. Man. That was 22 years ago. Wow. So, yeah, so 22 years ago, in, it was in St. Louis? Sir. What, what city was it in? Oh, St. Louis, sir. St. Louis. So you were in St. Louis. He came and took 100 brothers out, paid for the dinner, and took them to Old Country Buffet. And brother just... <laughs> Down and just talk, laugh the night away. Yes, sir. We we stayed there for seven hours. Man, I don't even know what to say about that. That that, that just sounds like the Doctor Khaled Abdul Muhammad that I've heard from everybody. Man, oh man. So 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 your vote, brother. Does does Doctor Khaled Abdul Muhammad go into the Eternal Hall of Martyrs? Oh yes, sir. Yes, sir. Without a doubt. Yes, sir. He should be uh, number one on the list. Yes, sir. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. We appreciate that, brother. Appreciate you calling in, uh, supporting, making this contribution. And I don't know if you can feel it, but my, my the spirit is just high tonight. I just, and maybe it's just the first two calls because I got two beautiful people uh, coming in there. But I don't know. I just feel, I feel good tonight. I feel like we're doing something right by bringing back these ancestors who who done so so right by us and, and, and putting their putting their story on the table and giving them a chance to be heard instead of these Negroes and Uncle Tom that the whites put before us. And I feel like they right. appreciate what we're doing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, with that, brother, we know you got to go back in there and keep spooking and sitting by <laughs> in the time. Hey, brother, so we appreciate you. We'll see you on the battlefield. All right, brother. Yes, sir. Peace out. Peace out.